Hello everybody, this is Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com coming to you for, with, with the November 7th report for Monday's market session, which I believe, if my math is correct, is November 10th. So let's go and get started right now. We see the S&P 500 right now is in a consolidation area. If you connect the lows of October here to the lows here, and connect the top, the highs here to the highs here, you can see that the S&P 500 is basically in a trading range right now. Now, this can be either bullish or bearish, as it can either continue to stay below the 50 and 200 day moving average, which is what I suggest most of you assume that it's going to do, and it can continue to just walk down the white line as it moves lower until it finds a bottom, or it could be starting to work on a basing period to where maybe it can break out above the 50 and 200 day moving average and give us a few longs to go long. There are a few charts out there that are starting to show up. They're not necessarily leaders, but they've got green bop and they've got accumulation, which gives me a little bit more I don't know, confidence that this thing isn't going to last forever. But for right now, with the downtrend still in effect and the index refusing to even touch the 50 day moving average, even though it is in a little trading range, I still believe it's best to Stay short if you're short stocks or be in cash. There's nothing wrong with being in full cash. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As you see, it's almost in the same situation. Um, the lows are intact here, and the highs wedge up just a little bit, but still pretty much overall the big trend is still obviously way, way, way down. As long as this trend stays down, I recommend to stay in cash and short because We've already, I've proven to you many times by going through the indexes over and over in the past. I don't feel like I need to do that anymore because I've proven it enough that when this price of the index is above the 50 and 200 day moving average, longs that are breaking out of beautiful bases that go on to produce big gains show up left and right, or maybe a few here, a few there, but they do not show up when the index is below the 50 and 200 day moving average. And that's why all year long, besides a little stint right here in March and April, whenever I had a few longs that did okay, it's just been nothing but pain. Let's look at the United States dollar, see how it reacted. It was only down 0.05% today, but it had a nice tail in it. And that tail is very bullish after an open candle bar yesterday. And I continue to see a flag developing here. And I would assume it would break out to the upside here. And if that would be the case, that would be excellent for US dollar bulls. Let's look at the NASDAQ 100 and as you can see it is still in the same situation everything else is. Intermediate, sub intermediate term um, range is short term is lateral. Intermediate trend is down. Long term downtrend is down obviously I just said that. Short term the uptrend is lateral in this one but it's down on the very very short 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 term. So the NASDAQ 100 and NASDAQ are still weak. And another thing on today's rally, for anybody that thinks that it was a good rally, look at the volume. Look at the volume on the previous rally. Lower, 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 lower. And then lower again today after distro day yesterday. So after yesterday's distribution day, we have lower volume once again. So as you can see here on the SP500 also, look at the volume. Lower. As we go along, volume gets lower. Now, hopefully, this will lead to a few scenarios that can happen. We either continue to go lower, and we make money on our shorts while we go lower, or the market can start to base out here on low volume, which would probably start setting up a few nice bases out there, and hopefully, we can have something new to go long. The VIX is still very high at 56. I have not seen the put call today, but I know yesterday it hit 1.25, which is fearish. So if we can get to 1.5, get this VIX back up to around the 60 area again. I even here, though, it's fine. I'm happy with it here at 56. That's good because just the fact that it back on October 24th hit 89.53 makes me happy. That's very high, that 90 reading. So the trend is still down. I would not be going long stocks here yet. And obviously, if you bought stocks last week, you're more than likely underwater unless you bought medical stocks. And I'm warning you, and everybody, if you go along the market when it's below the 15 200 day moving average, 
you greatly stack the odds against you. It's like going all in with a 7-2 offsuit against somebody with bullets, which is called pocket aces, after they've already re-raised you twice heavily by more than three times a pot, and then you put them all in if you have the, if you guys are like late in the game. And you have 7-2 offsuit. Let's say you've done something stupid. That's what it would be like going long here right now. You've got lower volume as the Raleigh tries to move along, and that's just not good. It's not bullish. It's not going to be healthy long term. And I think that it's just best just to be patient here. I want to look at a few other indexes that I haven't looked in a while. Gold is still trending down. Still is topped, in my opinion. Once again, proving when everyone is talking about something, you should not be buying it. Remember last year how everybody said, buy gold, buy gold, buy gold. And all earlier this year, buy gold, buy gold, buy gold, buy gold. Oh, but the market gets bad, buy gold. That's not working out. Now let's look at the oil back down to 61. And this chart just makes me very happy to look at. But however, until it hits 50, I don't think it's going to be anything significant, you know, for the consumers with the market being this bad. So even though that this rollover looks very nice to me in 2008, you see the rollover here. Until it hits around 50. I'm not going to be happy. We're in 2005, let's see where it was at. There we go. 2005, it was 50. So I need to see it come back here. What well, is good to see it below 2006 prices, I got to admit. But I want to see 50 in oil before I believe that it'll be low enough to actually make an impact on the consumer on other levels with our taxes rising and jobs being cut and lost, unemployment hitting 6.4%. And I wouldn't doubt if it hits 10% because that's what socialism is, folks. It's high unemployment. It's no job growth, not a lot of stock market growth, and a lot of pain. So I hope we don't hit that number. I really don't. But this is Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com saying goodbye, and I'll see you on Monday. Aloha. I will have a part two, by the way, for members.